This is part six of my camper van conversion. And the goal for today is to get the walls and the ceiling framed out. So I've got a whole bunch of two by ones here. I've got some insulation boards sitting in the garage and uh, then some gap filler. So this will be interesting. Other vans that I've done have had more of like a flat roof that have like the metal ribs that go through it. But because I have the fiberglass top, there's a lot more kind of high and low points that I have to work around. I'm also gonna leave that uh, that support bar there. I initially thought that I might cut it out, but I think for like the integrity of just like keeping the top of the van solid because the roof is cut out that I probably shouldn't mess with that. With this roof, I learned when I cut the hole for the vent fan is that all these low points, um, like all those strips you can see, that's I believe half inch plywood so there's like fiberglass and then wood and then fiberglass. So I should be able to screw into that without going through the top of the van um, without too much of an issue. So to start, you can see that we've got a couple different, like, I guess levels here of the ceiling. So this main section here, I'm gonna start with that, with getting some two by ones across it and then I'll do like the outsides and then figure out how to kind of break, tie those together. Cause I'm not sure exactly how it's going to look, but I think as I go, as I put, start putting those supports in, it'll kind of just start creating a form and I'll be able to just kind of naturally find like how that roof is gonna look and then kind of add pieces as I go. So I'm gonna cut those at 20 and a half inches. It kind of gets skinnier as it goes to the front, but I think I want it to be the same all the way back. This is like the perfect height to be super inconvenient. <laughs> it's not a low top where I'm like sitting down and it's not a high top, so my neck is just like cranked. Kind of preset the screws on that that way they're easier to screw into the ceiling there's a little bit of curve to the roof so you can see like there's a gap under these two but i'm just going to screw into those outside ones and keep that consistent all the way down. That way all my wood pieces will just be flat and straight. Nice. Those are all in, looking pretty good. And I've been trying to figure out what to do with this space. I have this board, it's just sitting here. It's not actually uh, secured to anything. The next thing I need to do is, uh, I mean, continue framing the sides. So I'd be putting some supports here, but then once it gets to this spot, it drops about two or three inches. And then you come up here and then it's like, I don't know if you can tell, but this is like curved into this next section and so i think it's easier if i just take the board how it's sitting right now and bring it from that back section to the front and avoid having to frame out that curve i think it'll end up looking a lot better in the long run and will be significantly easier to frame out so i think i'm going to do that because even though i am going to lose a little bit of headspace there that's like an awkward spot that you don't even need the headspace in because there's gonna be like cabinets and stuff under it. So as long as this middle section has like the majority of the headspace with the exception of that bar, uh, I think it should be good. There is some wiggle room, but I think if I just mount something between the frame and that board, it should be good. Just something to hold it in place. 
so it's not moving at all. So I need to get uh, a shorter piece cut there. I ended up sliding it down because I thought it fit better having the full piece there. But yeah, one more piece there, and then same thing for the other side. There's a bit of curve to those, but when I put the ceiling up, it shouldn't be a problem because I'm going to use a quarter inch shiplap and it should match the curvature, no problem. The next thing I'm going to do is cut some pieces out to fill these spaces here on both sides. And uh, they should be, I should be able to just cut the same size piece for like all those spots. And looking at these supports here, I'm gonna run some pieces from this board like up past the metal running this way. And so those are gonna hit, Let's see if I can use this. So if those are mounted like that, you can see where it's gonna hit on the ceiling. So the pieces that I put in going this way, they don't have to go all the way over to this far wall because of the board that's gonna be there. I should be able to just get one measurement and cut like a dozen of those and uh, get them all up pretty quick. So I think I'm gonna go with 10 inches for all of those. This edge here is uh, sticking out a little bit. It's not flush with this longboard, but I can always uh, smooth that out later if it's an issue. I don't think it will be. I still have more that I need to figure out for the actual ceiling. But I'm going to start moving on to um, kind of like the upper half of the walls now. And this will be a little bit more time consuming, I guess, because I need to screw into the actual metal support here. So what I'm going to do is uh, run some supports from the metal to this other piece of wood here. Except this is just a scrap piece that I had that I'm using as, as an example. But it's going to run all the way up until it hits the uh, wooden support up here, so that full length. And uh, I'm not sure how I'm gonna deal with kind of this section yet, because I'm gonna be building some overhead cabinets that are gonna go there, like above the bed. I don't think they're gonna drop all the way down to that section, but I don't know. I just haven't really visualized that yet. But might as well do what I can now, um, because it won't directly affect that. Basically, I'll have something of that nature covering that. So if I do something here, and then, I don't know, have something going that way as well. Figure out a little trim piece that kind of connects the two. I can at least get the top pieces cut out and put on, and then uh, go from there. Um, yeah, this will be interesting. <laughs> Because both, like the metal and the wood, these are, the wood that I'm putting on there is going to be sitting on like the edges of both of those. It's not actually going to be on a flat surface. So it'll be interesting to run that in. I'm thinking I'll have to hold it where I want it, put a screw in, mark the metal with that screw, take the wood off, drill the hole using an actual drill bit, put the wood back on, screw it in, and then screw it into the wood. Should work. Cool, I made a mark. Oh my goodness. I definitely don't have the right drill bit for this. And uh, that's gonna be a pain in the butt <laughs> to do all of those. But now that that hole's there, 
Let's set that just a little bit. <laughs> there is one down and I need a whole bunch more. These aren't attached, I was just setting them there because uh, I was matching up the lengths. But yeah, I hit my head on that bar. That did not feel great. But anyways, um, drilling all those holes is gonna take a little bit. So let's fast forward that and uh, just show you what it looks like once it's done. And we're back. And those are up. Actually, I love how those came out. I think that'll work out great. Like I said, I still need to figure out this part under it, but I'll worry about that later. This at least gives me the structure so I can get the insulation back there. And I mean, it is more important with the ceiling because I actually have to uh, attach it and secure it. But I mean, with these side sections, there's uh, so much open space there that it'll be easy to fill behind that with insulation. So I'm gonna do that same thing with uh, those supports, but on this side. And then uh, see how much light we have after that. I'm almost out of daylight, but got that other side in. It's kind of dark. Hopefully you can see that. I had to get creative. So let me show you what I'm working on now. I didn't have any string, but I took a thin wire and ran it down the center of the van so that I could find where the middle was and then mark out from that because the boards that I'm going to have going down the center, I want that to be the same width all the way down. So even though in the back I have a little bit more space, I'm gonna close it up just so, it'll. I just think it'll look better having the stretch down the middle be um, the same all the way down. So I made some marks starting down at this end, these little uh, pen marks. Those are each nine inches from this middle. And then I did that all the way down. So pen mark there, pen mark there. Oh, <laughs> that one's actually in the wrong spot. I'll have to fix it. Uh, pen mark there. So I have marks that are 18 inches wide all the way down. And now what I'm doing, and I kind of played with a couple of things. That's why I, uh, I wasn't recording up until this point. But I made this little, uh, I don't know, this little piece that I cut up to line up with that mark so that the board going on this wall hits the corner of the board going on this one and then on the edge of this support board. So I did one other one down here too, where you can see same thing with the mark there. That's where this piece intersects this piece and then on the corner again. And I was having some trouble screwing it in, but got a little wedge piece in there and uh, got some screws on it because I want those to all have at least two screws because um, one screw is just not going to be supportive enough. So. I need to do a whole bunch more of those and I'm just going to do it um, on all the spots on the ceiling where we have the uh, pieces going across. They'll each have one of those little uh, angled pieces and then on both sides of course. These small pieces are super annoying to get on but <laughs> that's what I came up with. Just wedge a little piece back there and then uh, this screw, I mean it is sticking out but it's above the base of this board and that's where the ceiling is going to sit so the screw that screw actually won't be in the way and uh i couldn't figure out another way to get that in there because i can't screw into this wall because there's no wood support on it i can just screw into that because that is the wood within the fiberglass um, otherwise that would go into the like out the outside of the van through the roof those are good to go it uh <laughs> took a little bit but those supports are all in so the ceiling should be at the point where uh, I should be able to secure all the insulation without any issues. Um, I know the walls is gonna be a little bit of a different story. And initially I was gonna put some studs in there to frame that out, but because I need to build the bed frame as well, and there's some other components that are gonna go onto the walls, um, I'm gonna hold off on that until another video. So let's move on to getting the ceiling insulated, which uh, shouldn't take very long at all. Um, it should be pretty easy, especially on the walls, just because there's such a big space to work with. And then uh, 
I have a technique that I do for the ceilings, uh, which I think works pretty good. So you'll see that. But yeah, let's uh, start getting some of our insulation board cut up. You can see it over there in the garage. This wire needs to come out. Which I'm done with it, so it doesn't matter. And that'll kind of hold itself for a second. So I'm just gonna fill in the top just like that. And then I'm gonna take some, uh, some pipe hanger, which is like a, like a metal ribbon, and then run two pieces of it to cross that and screw it into those studs. And that should keep everything held up. Those are all holding in place without uh, anything else on top of them. So I'm gonna leave them just like that, that worked out. But uh, I'm gonna do the corners, or not the corners, but like the pieces alongside the middle. And uh, I'll show you what I was talking about with the, the hanger strap. This is used for, uh, like plumbers use it for holding up pipes in like basements and stuff. And I mean, there's all kinds of applications. But I'm gonna pull out a strip of that and then screw it in here to this piece. And then anytime I put an insulation board in there, then I'll screw in the next piece and then screw it in and then just work my way down. So just have one long piece that's holding that insulation in. I have a bunch of these smaller pieces cut out now and some of them are just sitting in there. But uh, I have the straps. <laughs> I have the strap screwed in to that one side already. So I will just pull this to the next board and then just screw it in right there. That's not super firm, but it'll be good enough. I have an idea. All right, that'll stay up now. And now that I think about it, I could staple all the insulation. Huh. Let's scratch this whole thing. done that before but that works great because it doesn't have to uh it doesn't have to hold it very well like it's not the insulation board's not heavy nice that works so good i'm a little disappointed that i've never utilized that before That side is just about filled in. So there are plenty of like little gaps and things. Um, so I'm gonna take this spray foam and uh, just fill in all of those gaps. I'm also gonna come around like the back side of the wood and uh, like get in there behind these boards. Um, Cause the more space that I can fill the better. So let's uh, yeah, get some spray foam in. And then of course I still have to do the other side. That side is looking good. Still a few spots that I'll uh, touch up and get filled in, but for the most part, we're all set. So let's uh, get the other side up and finish before I run out of daylight.
just barely beat the daylight. But that is looking pretty good. Because that spray foam expands as it hardens, um, I will have to go back with a razor blade and trim some of that, um, just because like some of it will be coming off those supports. And so the wood that I put on the two by ones, uh, it won't be able to sit flat, but it's pretty easy cleanup. So it's not a big deal. A razor blade cuts right through it. But uh, yeah, pretty happy with how that came out. Um, I still need to get the lower half of the walls, of course. But the next thing I'm gonna do is uh, frame out the bed. And then once I have that framed out, I'll kind of know how to uh, build around it. And then also get some marks made for the other components that I'm gonna be putting in. And that'll make it a lot easier too, to figure out uh, where I wanna put the extra insulation. So that wraps up this video. Uh, if you have been following the whole build, thank you for watching. If you're new to this channel, thank you for watching. And uh, if you have any questions, drop them in the comment section and we'll see you in the next one.